Yo, what up, what up? How's everyone doing? Ramadan Kareem to everyone, bro. Uh, hope all you guys are doing well on this holy month, uh, 13th day, I think today. For, yeah, 13th day, uh, which is uh, crazy, man. Ramadan just goes super quick, which is mad. Uh, but yeah, look, I said I want to do more videos. I want to do this a lot more regular, especially like at least once a week for now. Um, and hopefully we can look to pick it up soon. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed last week's video with Souls. Um, this time we have another guest, a brother of mine, someone very close to me. Uh, and funny enough, another fellow Moroccan. Now, obviously, you guys all know him. He's a celebrity at this point, uh, showing up in many different YouTube spaces. Uh, mad busy guy because I see him in every single like space now. So he's obviously working hard and killing it. Um, Please join me in welcoming my Maghrebi brother, Saad. Jeez, what's going on, mate? What's going on? <laughs> hey, what's going on with hey. you, bro? I, I'm having they Saad do streams at like 11 a.m., bro. Like, it's mad. It's mad. Bro, they've been waiting. They've been waiting for the link up between uh, between Saad and Saad and Ash, bro. It's, it's been a, <laughs> it's been a, a one that's been anticipated. Most anticipated yeah. link up right here, man. You know what I mean? But I listen, like big that. up. I'm happy to be here, man. I'm gassed. You already know, man. I'm always gassed to sit here and chop it up with you about football, about Arsenal, about everything that's going on in the Premier League, man. You know? It's it's there's so much to talk about, man. There's so much to talk about. So yeah, I'm I'm excited, man. Thank you very much for having me, man. Yeah, yeah, it. man. Absolutely. I'm not man. famous. How, how's... You are, I'm you're getting famous. there, bro. I'm how, not, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> how, how, is, uh, how is Ramadan treating you so far? Alhamdulillah, very good, very good. You know, I, exactly like you said, it's so, going so quick. Um, normally, it's later on in the year for us, um, mm -hmm. where, you know, the, the days aren't going so quickly. Um, normally, you're you're eating at like 9 o'clock, 8.30. Uh, now, you're eating, I'm eating at 6 o'clock, man, so... Uh, it's nice easy days man easy days you know just get your do uh, pray and uh and fast you know make make dua and yeah and blessed man it's a blessed month it's a blessed month it man. Is, so, it's a very blessed um month. yeah it's, it's good it's all good for me how are you doing with it good alhamdulillah bro good man honestly i mean uh you know a couple of years ago like uh i would usually take like the first one or two weeks off during ramadan because I'd be mm. like, oh man, I'll be so tired. I want to just sit at home and just rest and, you know, like pray and stuff. But to be honest, mm. like work timing, sometime, like somehow when you work, because we have like shortened hours for like those who are fasting, uh, mm. for everyone actually, but especially those who are fasting, it's, it just flies by, bro. It literally mm. flies by. So you, even though you're fasting, you're like, the only thing is driving in traffic when you're fasting is one of the worst things. Yeah. Because yeah, I have to no. drive like an hour to work and bruh, like when you don't have your coffee in the morning or breakfast, like forget hunger and, and, and thirst. I can I can deal with that. But just that sleepiness and not having coffee in the morning is, is a problem sometimes. But yeah, it's uh, otherwise it's yeah. good. Alhamdulillah, bro. That's the killer. That's the killer. The coffee in the morning, yeah. bro. It's an, yeah, it's an yeah. addiction, bro. It's an addiction, bro. Hey. I don't know, uh, man. The thing is, for me, it's not even coffee. Sometimes it's tea. Sometimes I have like uh, a Thai, but a hot drink, Moroccan green tea. Yeah, it has to be like yeah. So either tea or coffee, a hot like drink, something. Yeah, I mean, yeah exactly. Yeah. Hot drink, hundred percent. We have, we have, we have, we have tea with milk here, man. So I, I uh, obviously I don't know if English you guys breakfast. have that over there. You don't have English yeah. tea. Yeah. Yeah, no, we do, tea, we yeah? do, hundred percent. Yeah, 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 we have yeah, that here, bro. It's, it's we have addiction, everything, bro. bro. Dubai literally has everything from every country. It's it's mad. Ethnicity is uh, like English yeah, tea is crazy. Yeah. English tea, milk, two sugars. Yeah. Ah, that's the one, bro. <laughs> you know? A couple biscuits on the side. Oh man. Why am I making myself hungry now? Oh, yeah, my, yeah, bro. Crazy. You you I, I have like I have like three and a half hours to go. Like you probably have a lot longer. So maybe it's I've better got seven. We... Seven hours. Yeah, there you go. You know? There you go. Let's let's change it away from food then for your sake. <laughs> but yeah, look, um, let's get right to it. Uh, we're gonna be discussing the title race. Obviously, like um, mm. we're gonna go through all the three teams. Um, uh, and it's it is a pretty exciting title race, to be honest. One of the best I think we've seen um in a while. The last time I think we had a three host title race up until this stage was 2013, 2014, I think, when it was Chelsea, City, and Liverpool. To be honest, we were in it as well uh, up until Jan, and then we just unfortunately dropped off with like some disastrous results. Um, but yeah, man, it's looking exciting. So mm -hmm. I think we'll we'll just go through all the three teams quickly. Um, 
obviously we'll start with our guys, our boys, the Gunners. Um, I wanted to ask you, like, what do you think will be like the most crucial thing for us to win this title race? Like, what kind of players do you think need to step up? Um, if we are to win it, where do you think we'd win it? Uh, what do you think needs to happen for us to be able to get to through the line? Um, well, listen, I think for us, looking at Arsenal, looking at the team right now, we we are in a, a pretty much a blessed position to have everybody come back at this moment, like for crunch time. Do you know what I mean? So um, obviously we've got games coming up, Premier League games and Champions League games. So it, right now, you know, the running, the games... The, the actual run for us is is very difficult. But I think for us to win it, players that need to step up, Thomas Partey is one of them, 100%, because we're still yet to see that midfield from minute one to minute 90 of um, Rice, Partey and Erdegaard in front of oh, them. Nice. Still yet to see that from minute one to minute 90, which I need to see that, bro, because... There's something about that midfield. It's perfectly balanced. Perfectly balanced. You have party there who can handle his own when it comes to def defensively and can go forward as well. Uh, Rice, exactly the same, can handle his defensive work to an exceptional level and can go forward now as well. We're seeing him a bit more comfortable going forward and getting into that final third. And then Erdegaard, the maestro, just in front of them, controlling the tempo of the game. So, for me, I'm looking at it like this. We need to have Thomas Party get back into that midfield. Um, also, I want to see Timber. I know we're not trying to rush him. I do want to see him to some extent, maybe towards the latter, latter end of the season. I'm talking last five games or something, just to see yeah. how he how he handles them games because those are the high pressure games when he gets to the end of the season. Do you know what I mean? And there's no other, no, there's no better place than to just drop him into the deep end. And then let's see, let's see how he handles it. Obviously, I'm not talking about go play him against Manchester City, but you know we're play, we're going to be playing uh, Wolves. We're going to be playing, you know, uh, Brighton. Let's 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 sling him into one of these games. See see how he handles it. See how he um, takes on the responsibility. Um, I think he's a great professional, and and he's very good. But um, another one for me who I really liked this this season before he got injured and obviously went over to to Japan was uh Tomiyasu uh, who I do want to see come back because I feel like he was really getting he was really getting into the groove of things and then the injury came and then bang he was out then he was just sitting there uh, getting recovering you know rehabilitation trying to get away from this injury then obviously the the break came for the Asian Cup where he went there, he played full games, ended up getting injured. Well, I think he was injured at the time when he was playing those games, but he still played and they still played him, which is mm. very irresponsible and very, very bad um, from uh, the Japanese FA um, to, be, to, to be doing that. I can't lie. Um, yeah. But it's funny you mention it. Like, so Akhtar also mentioned the same thing. Like, uh, big up Akhtar, by the way. Thanks for big joining in. Like, Tommy. Tommy needs to be slotted in at LB ASAP, bro. I don't know what, what do you think, bro? Because give your, I mean, uh, look, I know we don't, we didn't rate him. I know we used to mock this guy like crazy. Uh, I don't, I don't think he was ever a bad center back, but he's been doing well last couple of very, years. Back. Yeah. Very well, bro. The way the way he's actually taking that position on, because I think Arteta's realized, yeah, Arteta's learned from his mistakes. Let's mm. let's just face it. The only reason why Kivio is actually doing well is because Arteta has learned from his mistakes and stopped being stubborn as hell. Mm. Like he was stubborn before. He was like, I want you to do what Zin Zinchenko Zinchenko does, does for me. Yeah. I want you to do exactly what Zinchenko does for me. Never gonna happen. The same mm. thing didn't happen with Tierney. The same thing is never gonna happen with Kivio. These players are just not gonna do or they're not gonna give you what Zinchenko gives you. Yeah. Defensively, they're brilliant, but offensively, they're not going to give you what Zinchenko gives you because Zinchenko is great on the ball, man. He's a very good player on the yeah. ball, but defensively, Our best he's so lax. Would you yeah. say? I said he's the best fullback we have in terms of on the ball. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, not not the yeah, best abilities. fullback, 
Obviously, no, no, he's definitely not the best. Oh overall, my god, he's probably the last ranked. Yeah. Overall, I think he's like probably second from last. Yeah, uh, I agree. I don't actually. Who am I gonna put? Anyway, let's not get into that. But <laughs> um, but yeah, I, listen. I I think Arteta has just found out how to utilize these guys. Just utilize them for defensive duties. They can go forward if they want, mm. but it's not the main focus of their responsibility on the pitch. Do you know what I mean? Go and give that to the right back, who's Ben White, who is actually very good on the ball. Like since we've seen him start to invert. It's it's almost like it's natural to him, and it just looks natural. He does it very well, so I don't know why it wasn't happening for so long. Uh, if if Arteta was just being stubborn and said, "Oh no, it has to be from the left side. It has to be from the left side." Yeah. Um. Martinelli needs to step up. Needs to step up big. I know he's 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 had a very very bad season in regards to just performances from himself. Um, and to be honest, I blame it partially on the system because I felt like when when Havertz was there, yeah. it kind of it kind of deferred away from from giving him the amount of space that he requires. And I know obviously players need to create space anyway for themselves. Um, but when somebody's just running into your space where you're supposed to be running into, it's it's just it's it's not going to work. So. I, I, w- I want to see him playing a bit more in the Champions League. And the Champions League, he looks good. Um, in the Champions League, he plays well. So I do want to see him playing in, in, in that one. But, yeah, we have a few players that need to step up. A few players that need to get their head down now. This is the, the, the crunch time. It's the squeaky bum time, as Alex Ferguson used to say. And this is the moment where you separate the boys from the men. Because... Mm. You, you and and not even the boys from the men, but you you separate the losers from the winners, because yeah. the winners are gonna go, they're gonna do their job, they're gonna get it over the line. Th- this game that's coming up against Manchester City is ma- make or break for both clubs in order in this yeah. title run. And yeah, over overall, I think we just need we need players to we need players to come back, um, have their heads screwed on properly, and get to work because the job's not finished. Um, we need the manager to definitely um, he because he's got a, a bigger, a slightly bigger squad now, and the bench is going to be packed. By the way, with all the players yeah. that have come back, the bench is for, forget about what we've been seeing in the last 10, 10 games where the bench has been kind of um, weak. The bench is going to be packed, so he's going to have to learn how to equally. Um, you know, give give one player part uh, equally distribute the minutes between the subs bench because we've yeah. got a lot of good players on there, man, that can be utilized in different scenarios. So uh, that definitely needs to happen as well. And um, yeah, we we just we need to we need to get we need to get to the end of the line, man. We need to get over the over that final hurdle and win this Premier League because I genuinely think we can. Genuinely think we can, man. Honestly. I agree, man. I think we. De- I think all three teams can win it at this stage. I mean, look. Um, yeah. I echo a lot of the things you've said. Um, I-, I will say, for me, the most important thing for us um, that needs to go well or continue going well, because I think it's already been going well so far, uh, is our defensive structure and the way we set up. Um, I think having Tomiyasu back, having Timber back, is is a massive, massive blessing. Um, Here's the thing, like in every, I think we've played 28 games now, so we have 10 games left. Generally, I think we can score in every single one of these 10 fixtures, even though funny enough, it's it's so funny to say that because start of the season, our chance creation and attack seem to be a problem, whereas our defense seemed to be quite good. Recently, obviously, our attack has picked up like crazy. Um, I think we have finally figured out how to use Kai Havertz well. Because I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. He's never been that guy for me as an eight. Like I, that experiment for me was was mad and needed to be like thrown off immediately. Um, if you want to rotate him with Jesus and and see who deserves to start, or maybe play Jesus on the left sometimes if Martelli is injured or he's not in form, fair enough. But obviously he has to start Havertz. But whatever the setup is, we have a team that can score goals. Like I'd see us going to City and being able to score I, at least or at least creating good enough chances. That can see us score. Now, if we have, end up having a West Ham kind of game, 
where we create five or six big chances and we miss all of them, that's a whole different scenario. But I'm saying we can go to every single team this season, including Spurs away, including United away, and creating big chances that will see us score goals. My fear is I don't want our defensive structure, which has been so good so far this season, to suddenly collapse like it did last year. Because last year, where did we lose the league? Defense. We went to Liverpool, we were 2 0 up, ended up dropping those points. Went to West Ham, 2 0 up again, bottled it there. Southampton, we freaking conceded three goals against the worst team in the league, right? So I do want to make sure that we keep that structure from here till the end of the season, which means that combination of Saliba, Gabriel, and Declan Rice is incredibly crucial. One is we can't afford for any of them to get injured from here till the end of the season. And I genuinely mean it almost, except maybe for Luton Town at home, uh, which we should beat hopefully comfortably. Every other game, it's crucial we have all three playing the whole 90 minutes. Um, and then our fullbacks, like Ben White has been amazing this season. I think since we came back from Dubai, he's been one of our best players. He's just been killing it in that role. Not just defensively, even going forward, he's been scoring, assisting. Uh, so I think he's probably going to make that position his until the end of the season, uh, barring, God forbid, an injury. Uh, but obviously we'll need Timber and, and Tomiyasu and Kivy or whoever is like ready and fit to, to challenge for that. And mm. I think the other key thing for us is just to manage our Champions League and Premier League games well. Like we have to make sure we manage those games. Like I know it's we're playing Bayern, obviously, and we've discussed that in your show. Like it's obviously going to be a very difficult fixture. I, I, I would have said like if we were playing a Dortmund, for example, I would have said like let's try and wrap it up in 90 minutes over the two legs and not go to extra time. Because every extra minute we play is obviously going to be a, uh, a tiring for us and could lead to injuries. Um, but it is what it is. We're playing Bayern. It's obviously like a tough uh, fixture. But I think the way we handle the Champions League as well will affect us in the Premier League. What I mean by that is, I'm not saying, oh, if we lose in the Champions League, that's it. We're going to get, we're going to collapse in the Premier League. What, but if we end up getting smashed in the Champions League, hmm. I think that that could have a knock, uh, a domino effect on hmm. us in the Premier League. And I really wish that we can avoid. That's that the scenario. weirdest thing, you know that. That's the weirdest exactly. thing. Exactly. Do you know? Do you know that? Do you know that the league has no effect on the Champions League, but, yes. the, Champions but the Champions League, league has, an has an effect on the on league, the bro. League. It's so weird it's how that happens, and it's not even just us. That's every single like you see teams where if they're flying in the league and then they go and they lose a game, the, the, their form in the league and no effect on that but if they lose in the champions yeah. league while they were on form and then they go back bro they start sometimes. losing games yeah. bro it's, it's it can it can do something to you man it's weird like that it is it is it is 100 percent. but yeah look as long as we keep that defensive structure i think we have a chance obviously we'll we'll uh we are going to do a little thing towards the end where we are gonna go through the fixtures of all the three teams and 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 basically just run them quickly and i have a nice little thing that we're going to do um but yeah look I think we can win it 100%. So hopefully we can keep our players fit. Cool. I'm going to go to the next team, Liverpool. Um, I'll just do a quick intro for this one. Um, obviously, we were hoping that they're going to drop points when Salah went to AFCON. Um, and they had all these crazy injuries. Like, I, I honestly want to commend Liverpool, to be fair. Like, yeah, like rivalry aside, they have actually done pretty incredible. Given the list of injuries they have and given that they lost... One of the best players in the league for like a month or yeah, almost a month because he was injured as well during the AFCON. Um, and they still managed to go and win their games. And the fact that they've only lost two games in the Premier League this season. And we know how they lost the first one. Like that Tottenham game was just like a, a, a robbery. Um, it, it shows you like how, how well they're playing. And you remember like when that Klopp announcement came up, uh, came out, like I think in November or when did it come out? And some Liverpool fans I remember were like, why would he say this now? This is going to affect our mentality and affect the team. Bro, it's done really good for them. It's done really good for them because now they're, they're just going with that narrative of let's do it for Klopp. Um, whether you believe that or not, is, 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 I don't know. Like, But you can see it on the pitch. You can see these guys are fighting on the pitch. You can see even the youngsters when they're being called up like Bradley or Dance or whoever, like they're actually stepping up to the plate. Um, so yeah, man, I, I think they have a very good chance. I do want to ask you this, though, because this has been um, uh, a topic of debate like through a, a, for a lot of people. Um, and I saw that Hossam was obviously having that argument in the football terrace and then with uh, Judge Mo. A lot of people are saying that they have the easiest fixtures from year to the end of the season, right? Because they only play 
well, they played two of the traditional top six, but one of them is at home against Spurs. Uh, and obviously the other one is, is United. Uh, versus City, who still have to play us and play Spurs. Um, obviously, we have to play Chelsea, Spurs, United, and and um, uh, and City. Unfortunately, at the end, at, uh, at the Etihad. Do you go with that notion? Do you actually agree with that notion that Liverpool have the easiest fixtures, or do you think that it's actually very level with, with the other two teams? Yo, can you hear me? Uh, I don't know. My thing, my thing just started buffing. I don't know what's going on. Oh, I'm back. There we yeah, go. Yeah, you're back. back. You're back. You're back. You're back. Yeah, yeah. bro. <laughs> what the hell, bro? <laughs> um, your your, listen, your Wi-Fi uh, is fasting as well, bro. Well, like the BT, bro. Uh, they're frauds, <laughs> man. They're frauds. Um, <laughs> yeah. Listen, listen. For me, the thing is, yeah. If you look at, if you look at all three runnings, and I was just, yeah. I was just, uh, just trying to find all three run-ins, the picture that they had of it, because uh, they had the, the picture of all three get... Um... Okay, there it is. Um... Oh, my God, no. Uh... I can pull it up for you if you'd like. Oh, can you? Oh, yeah, please, yeah. mate, if possible, just okay. so I can have a look at so, it again, just because, so, just because I wanted to overlook it, because I, because I've, I've, I looked at it previously, and then I was like, in my mind, I thought that um, Man City had the easiest fixtures, but I just want to look at it over and again, just to double check the Liverpool fixtures, yeah. just in case. So before I pull it up, so this is gonna actually, when it's coming to the thing that we were gonna do in the end, so I'm just gonna give a sneak peek. Um, but basically, what we're gonna do in the end is we're gonna predict. Um, the 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 results the for the fixtures. Um, and I want to show you, so I, I, I might as well that. do it now. I might I as well that, do man. that now. Uh, there you go. Let me know if you can see it. Yes, 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 I can. There you go. Right. So these are the fixtures. Okay, so this is basically like a spoiler for what we're gonna see towards the end of the video. Um, mm -hmm. we're gonna do like the predicted outcome for all the three, but uh, and then we'll we'll basically be able to see um the total points that we will have after adding the points um mm. but yeah so these are the fixtures now obviously the ones in double asterisk are to be announced because they're being postponed um mm. so yeah yeah okay um so looking looking at the liverpool ones um obviously the man city ones i think other than other than the uh tottenham one and arsenal Mm. I think all of the other ones are winnable games for them, and pretty winnable. I I don't I don't well, think there's they really have. What about much Brighton? No trouble. Way. The thing is with Brighton, mm. yes, they can be a, that kind of team at times, but I feel like right now they're missing uh, Matoma for the end for for the for the rest of the season. I think he's out for the rest yeah. of the season with his injury. Um and they're they're just missing they're just missing him, bro. And he's he's a very big part of that team. Like he's always the outlet on the left side. So mm. I I want to say Brighton. You know what? Let's stick Brighton in there. So if we go Tottenham, Brighton, Aston. Um, I'm not gonna go Aston Villa. Uh, they'll smack Aston Villa. Um, especially at the Etihad, Tottenham, bro. Yeah, it's at the Etihad, bro. I don't know why these guys. Mm. LB loves pushing this narrative. Oh my god, Aston Villa's a hard game, bro. You're at the Etihad, bro. Chill, please. Have yeah. some self respect, bro. Please. <laughs> but um, Arsenal, Tottenham, and Brighton. Those three games. Other than that, the other eight games are or seven games. Sorry, are winnable. Yeah. The other yeah. seven games are winnable and easily yeah. winnable for this team, uh, Man City, um, at the moment. So, yeah, I, I, I think, I think they at the moment have the easiest run. But I'm just gonna have a look at the Liverpool ones. So they got Brighton at home, which I think for them it's not really, it's not really that difficult for them to play. I think Brighton, Brighton play better against teams that like to do the keep the possession and this and that. Liverpool sometimes don't like to keep the possession. They like to play in transition. They're very, mm. they're a very transition-based team. They like to play um, on, uh, not necessarily on the counter, but uh, they love to play in transition um, and move in transition brilliantly. So I don't think I don't. I think they'll get past Brighton. 
Sheffield United will definitely get past. I think they'll smack them four or five nil, which we need to we need to make sure we're keeping up our goals so they don't catch us on a goal difference. Manchester United away is a difficult game. So look, so sad. We we'll go through all the fixtures because that's again that's part of the end thing. But yeah, yeah, sorry, basic... sorry, yes, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, it's all good. But you be... so, so you believe Liverpool has the easier run in? Uh, it's a difficult one, huh? Yeah. I don't know, man. I, I still feel Actually, like I'm gonna, gonna have go Man City. I'm gonna go Man City. Really? Mm. Yeah, 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 no, no. I'm gonna go Man City, and I'll tell you for why. I'll tell why? you for why. They have four hard games in there. They have Man United, Tottenham, uh, uh, Villa, and Everton. Those are the four Derby, hard games. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Man City have three. We have. Yeah. Um, we have. We have a lot, bro. We have City. Uh, we have Brighton away. Bro, we we, we have, have like five. We have five or six, bro. So we're we're probably be, we're probably the hardest. Uh, listen, I, I'm I'm gonna say Man City just based off yeah. of they're the ones with the least amount of hard games left in this running, while yeah. the other two teams have difficult games, like you know what I mean, derbies and all sorts. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna go. I know I know we're gonna wait to do this, but I, I'm 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 gonna go with. Uh, Man City is the easiest okay. one for me personally, uh, from what I can see from those fixtures. Fair. I, I wanted to ask you before we move to Man City, just on Liverpool. Yeah. Like, uh, it's the same question that I asked for Arsenal. Obviously, like, what do you think would be the main um, key players? So, what do you think has to go right for them to be able to actually hold on and win the league? I mean, they're currently obviously second on goal difference, but at level on points with us. Um, so, where do you feel they could win the league? Um, for me, looking at Liverpool this season, I think where they could win the league is in is in the attack. They need to they need to unlock it. If they can unlock that attack, mm. then they've got it. Defensively, they're good. Uh, midfield wise, they're good. They yeah. might need to tweak a, a tweak a few things with Sly in there and all that. Um. But going forward, like it was, it was Mohamed Salah and uh, Diogo Jota. Those are only, yeah. those are really the only two with proper clinical players. Gakpo is an embarrassment. Diaz is an embarrassment, and Nunes. He's hot and cold. Yeah. Nunes, Nunes can. Bro, sometimes this guy is brilliant, and he scores a brilliant goal, and then sometimes, bro, he can't even hit a barn door, bro, to save his life. Yeah. So. It, it, it's it's he's the definition of hot and cold, bro. That Nunes guy, bro, and he's colder more than he is hot, bro. Forget about being yeah, in the but, oven, bro. He's in the fridge most of the time, bro. <laughs> the one thing I will say, I I agree with you, but the one thing I will say about Nunes compared to Diaz is that even when Nunes like misses, you still see him doing a lot of things. He'll still run at defenders. He will still somehow create chances. Mm. Somehow he gets assists. So. That's why they call him Mr. Chaos, or he brings the chaos because he actually yeah. like troubles defenders a lot. Like you cannot relax with him. But I think Diaz sometimes goes through these moments. Like he has moments. I don't know if you saw what he did against Spain in the friend yesterday. Mm -hmm. The guy went past like yeah. two guys and and squared it, and obviously the guy finished it br brilliantly. But so he has these moments where he does these incredible runs and he'll do something like some magic out of nowhere. But he'll have other games where he does absolutely nothing for ninety minutes. Whereas Diaz, even when he misses. You will still see him in the game. You'll still see him running at the guy, like causing problems, winning some headers. But yeah, it's, it's me the thing is, if he could finish, if he finished the chances the way like Haaland and all these other guys finish, bro, he would probably be the best striker in the league. Because that's the only thing missing in his game. He defends well, he he presses well, he's he's quick, he he can take on his fullback, he's good in the air. The only thing it's, that's missing is his finishing, which is uh, obviously the most important thing you need as a striker. Um, which is why I think some Liverpool fans who are calling for him to play as a left winger if if Diego Diogo Jota is back. I don't know if he will be back. Um, but I think most Liverpool fans were asking for a noon age Jota Salah front three. And I agree with you, bro. I think that attack will be uh, the thing they have to rely on the most because a lot of times you are Liverpool are known for like being able to outscore teams. Um, but I also think like so one thing that I do want to Ask you, and it's the last thing I'll mm. ask before we move on to City is no, no, we're good, bro. No team, I, I think, has ever won. 
I got time. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. I, I, I know, I know. That's good. It's good. No team, I think, has ever won the Europa League and the Premier League, or at least in the last 15, 20 years, as far as I can remember. Do you feel that I, could be a hindrance for Liverpool? Yes. I'll tell you for mm. why. Thursday, Thursday, Sunday is harder than Tuesday, Saturday. It, it just it is hundred percent because of because of how close the games are. Like Thursday, Saturday, obviously you're getting you're getting um, uh, more days to train. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But when it comes when it comes to that that close of a running, especially if you're traveling, like Tuesday you can travel, or even Wednesday you can travel back. And then you got you got either a game on Saturday or Sunday, um, depending on when it, when the game is being played. But Thursday to Sunday, it's just so chaotic, bro. It's just so yeah. chaotic. It, it, it would help. It would help the club if 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 it wasn't Thursday Sunday and it was Thursday Monday. Then yeah. that'd help the club massively because then then you can't make that excuse. Then you get the same days, same amount of time to train, get back to the get back to London or get back to to the UK, land, get back to training, do this, do that. But I think that is going to be very difficult for them as well. Um, mm. Not necessarily per se the uh, um, the running with the clubs. I think they'll beat the clubs, but it's just. I don't know if they can do both at the same time. Do you know what I mean? Klopp's going to have to... As the closer and closer we get to the end, mm. Klopp's going to have to start prioritising one of them. Do you know what I mean? And that's because the funny thing. He starts his best team in these in these things. Like, I think... Didn't they trash Sparta, uh, like Prague, like 5-1? Was... And then he still started a very good team in the second leg. <laughs> Yeah. Which is mental, which is mental. Like I would I would have thought like he would have restarted Dance and, and Clark and all these guys and mm -hmm. uh, like the whole team would have been like the youngsters, but hey, it's it's Klopp, I was surprised so. as well, bro. I was surprised as yeah. well, but uh, listen, Klopp is he's experienced, bro. He knows what this is about. He knows what he mm. needs to do. It's his last season. Is the 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 most dangerous thing for me? And obviously, you touched on this earlier. Um, is it's do or die for them right now? In yeah. regards to when he announced it, it's literally do or die. We can't let Klopp just go, especially now with the embarrassment of all the Liverpool fans cussing out the Man United fans last year for only winning a Carabooty Cup. Bro, mm. they, they, there's no way that the fans are gonna stand for us just for for us. Why am I saying us? Um, for you Liverpool, fraud. bro. The allegations from yesterday. I said it yesterday, and they clipped me, bro. They're frauds. <laughs> um, but the fans ain't gonna let that happen for Klopp to leave mm. with just a Carabao Cup in his last season. Yeah. It can't. They, they're not gonna allow that to happen, bro. You need to get either a Premier League or a Europa League. You have to. It just for the perfect send-off, bro. They want the Disney, they, they want the Disney storyline. You know what I mean? So mm. it's, 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 they need a happy ending. But I think it's going to be difficult for them. I do feel like it's going to be difficult for them, in my personal opinion, um, depending on, 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 on the games and the injuries. But injuries have been their problem, and they're going to have a lot of them coming back. So this is yeah. this is really what helps Liverpool at this point is they're gonna have a lot of these injuries coming back. I think Diogo Jota, I don't know when he's back. Um I don't think it's Not yet. Sure. I don't think it's yet. Um I think it might be just still like a, a couple of weeks to go until he's back into training and that. Because obviously he landed on his knee, bro. Um, the player. I think it was I think it was against uh, West Ham, I think, or something like that. Yeah. It says it's expected Forest. back mid mid April. Like if it's mid April, that's that's it's, it's yeah, not so that far away. A couple of, a couple of weeks, yeah. So he he's due back soon. He's a he's he's a, a danger man, bro. We all know about this guy, man. He scores goals for fun. So he's a very clinical um forward. But yeah. they just need to maintain that their injuries stay, f uh, their injured players stay fit, and mm. can stay fit throughout this running. Uh, also, okay. Trent, Trent is massive for them. Yeah, Trent is Trent and Allison. 
yeah, Allison as well. But I think Trent, just for the outfield, he creates everything, bro. Everything runs mm. through him, bro. He's like he's like the he's like the mother mother uh, um, motherboard, bro. He mm. is the motherboard for that team, bro. Everything runs through him, bro. Everything. We, he, he brings that team to life. So yeah. they need him to stay fit, bro, if they want to win this league, bro. Because he's utmost important. Like, okay, Connor Bradley's done very good for his age. Mm. But, bro. Yeah, but he's not, not Trent. He's not Trent. It's not, it's not the same, sure. bro. It's not yeah. the same, bro. It's just not. You know what I mean? Trent is levels, bro. He's world class. <laughs> he is. He's world class for sure. He's hundred percent world class. And yeah, and the I mean, fact yeah. that thing that he's been inverting, the fact that he's been inverting well this season, he's been getting in good goal scoring positions, and obviously scored a big goal against the uh, City at the Etihad when they got mm. the equalizer. So he, he he definitely. And by the way, even defensively, I know he's been getting a lot of criticism for the last couple of years. I think this season he's improved a lot. He's this doing season. well in one on ones. Yeah. yeah, he's doing a lot well in one on ones. He's he's defending like he's he's physical. He defends well in the air as well. So. He's definitely made big but that's strides. With, I, that's that's with the help. That's with the help of Konate, though, because I don't yeah, know if 100%. you've seen it. And oftentimes, like especially uh, against Martinelli when we went to the yeah. we went to the Anfield, yeah, he he didn't really get one on one with Martinelli a lot. It was always Konate. Yeah, because Konate has By the, the better um, defensive ability to to be able to you know um, what's it called. What's the freaking thing called? Again, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's when, he's, when he's better they... to stop at like these one-on-one situations. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So, but yeah, but I mean, look, they, they obviously have a very good chance. I mean, they're top of the league uh, in terms of points. It's just second on goal difference. Um, we will touch on the goal difference thing as well towards the end because I I do think mm. that could play a role because when you when the gap is so tight like that, you have to take goal difference into account as well. Um, but yeah, I think they definitely have a very good chance. I do think they'll struggle maybe like to balance Europa League, as you've mentioned. Um, especially when you have like a team like Leverkusen there who are undefeated this season, mm -hmm. um, Roma as well. Um, so yeah, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be exciting. I do hope that the Europa League slows them down a bit. Um, because I think the farther they go in the Europa League, the better it is for the better it is for us in the Premier League because it just means more fixtures for them, obviously. Um but cool, I think we'll move to Man City next. Um, and I want to first start with... Uh, Akhlar is back again with the comment. I just want to start the Man City discussion with this. So Akhlar says, Man City have struggled against the big six this season, have won none of their matches except for United games. Which is so true, right? Like We've seen them like at home against Chelsea, against uh, Tottenham, against Liverpool, all disappointing results. Um, I think... In every single one of those games as well, they were... No, actually, against Chelsea, they were trailing. But in the other two games, they were leading. And obviously, they 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 uh, ended up like dropping points. How do you see this Man City team ending the season? I know, obviously, when we went through the thing, and we'll obviously go through the fixtures again. Um, you did mention, obviously, that, uh, that like they'll probably win most of their games. They've only got two or three difficult games. Um, but... Do you think that their form against the big six could eventually lead to their downfall towards the end of the season? Um, or do you feel that it, it will not matter in the end and they'll still go on to win the other games? Well, they can, the thing is, they can. It's difficult because they have to play the big six still, you know? Yeah. And Two if we're looking. Yeah. So they got to play us and they got to play Tottenham. Now. If if we actually look at the points that have been dropped against the big six previously, mm. it's with with Manchester City, you can never drop points. They've they've built themselves around being absolutely relentless, bro. Like constantly just three points, three points, three points. These were the guys who set the bloody hundred point record, bro. Centurions, bro. So mm. this team literally um dedicates itself to getting as many points as they can not missing out any games at all like they try yeah. to go maybe one two losses in a season if they can bro at this point it comes up to draws bro draws start to draws start to become your enemy draws start to be the ones that push you away from that title because let's face it this league right now 
it's so tight, so close. Like mm. and 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 it, bro, it's 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 gonna be so tight. But I think I think when it comes to when it comes to their record, I think it's already hurt them. Now they they force themselves in a position where they have to win these last games. Yeah. They have to be perfect. I'm talking last season's form. Just bang, bang, mm. bang, bang, bang. They have to do that, bro. Because of the sac- they sacrificed those games, or they didn't sacrifice them, but they weren't good enough in those games. So it's either, uh, you know, do or die now for them as well, because they mm. have to get that title. Pep is chasing that fourth. He wants to do the four peat, bro. Break the record. So, yeah, I, I listen. I think, I think it will, it can affect them because now it's added more and more pressure onto the. It's added more and more pressure onto the squad, onto the team, onto the manager. Because Wait, well, sad. I don't know why suddenly your thing disconnected. I don't know if it's just me. Oh, wait. I think you're back oh. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're back. You're back. You're back. Yeah. Your, you, your you voice delayed, just went away, bro. You're bro. Oh, really? Am I? Oh, no, no. Hold on. Talk again. Yeah, yeah. Can you hear me now? You're a slight bit delayed. You might want to come oh, out and that's... come back in. Quickly. Let me let me do that. Let me do that. Let me do that. Let me do that. Um, yeah, but guys, um, can you can you guys hear me now? Yeah, to everybody. I know the uh, yeah. things coming up. Uh, Akhtar and Altis, can you guys let us know if you can hear me fine? Um, and if it was just an issue from my side. Oh, uh, you're uh, you're you're fine now. You're actually okay. fine. I can I can cool, I can cool, see cool. you and hear you perfectly. Yeah. Can you hear me perfectly Amazing. now? Yeah. I oh, said Muhammad yeah, said yeah, it's yeah, yeah. good now. Big up, good, good. Um, big up, big up, Hamid. So, yeah, what I was saying is they've left themselves because the especially the Chelsea games, it was criminal. The Chelsea games were criminal. They can't lose the Chelsea games. The fact that they've lost them now, they should have scored in, in mm. most of these games. Most of these games, they should have scored. Now, it comes up to a position now where they have to be perfect. And mm. when when you want a team... If you want to put money on a team, obviously, I know we don't bet. No, Kumar, Hamar, uh, Haram and that. Haram, guys. Um, Not just haram. in Ramadan, outside Ramadan as well. Yes. Um, but if, let's say, for instance, somebody wanted to put uh, um, a, a bet on or put money on a team to, to get over the line and, and finish those fixtures near to perfect. It's Man City. Bro, they're going to put their money on Man City, bro. They're the ones yeah. that have shown it. They've set the blueprint. So mm-hmm. you want them to be the team. You think they will be the team that are closest to being able to do that. So um, I definitely think it's harder for them. But mm. I think it could also be it could also be a motivator for them, dependent on how the um, fixture goes between us. But Mm. Um. Obviously, we'll get to that in in due course. But um, yeah. Other than that, I th- I think I think I think that that will hurt them. Um, or it has already, because it's added on the pressure. In my yeah. opinion. You know the funny thing is they always start like a lot of time. Most of the times they start the, the first half of the season they don't do that well. Mm. Um, this season was actually a, I think a bit worse for them in terms of how many points they dropped. Um, so I don't think that form will translate towards the last 10 games of the season. Um, but it's a good thing that you brought up that point. You touched on it. Like, can it hurt them? Can their initial form hurt them? And I think it could, right? Um, we have to remember last season when they caught up, we were like... Uh, so one fallacy that's always been there is like, oh, Arsenal were eight points ahead. We were never truly eight points ahead. We were five points ahead. If you take all games into account, uh, we were only eight points ahead when we had a game extra over them. But... I think it's easier for a team like City to catch up when it's just one team. So if you remember the 20, um, 2018, 2019 season, there were seven points behind Liverpool. In fact, 10 points, but they had a game in hand. So let's say seven. And they caught up. And obviously last season, there were five points and they caught up. Um, but I think it's easier to do that when you're only chasing one team, right? And one of the things that helped them last year 
is when we were ahead of them and they came to the Emirates and beat us, that gave them that confidence boost. Like, you know what? We've got the number of this team, right? Yes, they drew the next game to Nottingham Forest, but then they won like 12 games in a row or something like that, right? And that obviously like made it a lot easier. So when they knew that, okay, the game at the Etihad is coming up and we know we can beat these guys, it became a whole different thing. So I feel that now that they're chasing two teams, Arsenal and Liverpool, uh, I think it makes it a lot harder. And also, if you if you are in a situation where let's say Liverpool win their game, and let's say City is playing next, you're under so much more pressure, so much more pressure, right? Versus like if you know you're going first, you're gonna win your game, and then Liverpool also play after. Obviously, that's a whole different thing, um, because we know that a lot of times City's wins are also like a reaction to a previous result. So if you look at the, the when the title race was super close, if Liverpool would win, City would be like, yeah, this is a must win, and they would go on to win it. Right, I feel that now that they have to chase two teams, it's going to be a lot more difficult. One key factor as well that I want to bring up is how important Rodri is to them. And the fact that he's already on eight yellow cards. We've seen what happened when he missed the seat. Oh, you're on mute. I think you're it's nine. Fraud. I think it's nine. Is it nine, bro? I he got, he got, one, he got one in the, he got one in the semi-final, I think. Um, or in the quarter-finals of the FA Cup. Double check for me. I think he's Yo, on I'm, nine. I'm checking it right now. If he's on nine, that's Rodri. incredible, bro. Yellow, Yellow cards. cards. No, he's on eight. He's on eight. He's on eight, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if he gets two more, he would basically miss wow. two games. Right? Wow. And and we've seen every game. he's. I think every game he's missed the season, they haven't won a single but one. It, doesn't it reset, though? Doesn't it reset? Does it reset? Uh, in because April, I, thought, I, I thought I think it resets. Yeah. Okay, then I'm not sure. Then I'm not sure because I thought when you get five, you miss one game, which you already did. Um, and when you get ten, you miss two games. Now, if it resets in April, that's uh, a different conversation. Obviously, then my argument is irrelevant. But I mean, he's been very crucial for them. Like obviously, and every game he's missed a season. It's crazy to think that the games he's missed a season, they've not won a single one of them, which yeah. just highlights how important he is for their team. Um, which also means that they need to make sure they keep him fit from here till the end of the season. Um, again, they're in the FA Cup, they're in the Champions League, so it's it's obviously going to be difficult. They have to juggle all fixtures. But hey, as you've mentioned, bro, if you had to bet on a single team to be able to manage all these fixtures and win, um, it's Man City. They've done it before. Um, they obviously have the experience. Um, I think people were saying at the start of the season that no team has ever won four in a row, so it's going to go against them. It's going to be difficult. You know, the treble hangover. When you win a treble, sometimes you die off. Bro, I, I always thought that's just a bunch of nonsense. They were my favorites when from the start of the season because of the manager they have, right? If they didn't have Guardiola, I would say not fair enough. Yeah, they could be a, a, a significant drop. Um, but when you have Pep Guardiola, like I don't think he would allow his team to have that kind of um, a hangover or drop-off. I mean, he's won a treble before with Barcelona. Right, and it didn't affect him from winning the Premier League, the La Liga again next season. Um, yeah, they got knocked out to Inter Milan in the semi-finals, but we all remember like how that was was an incredible Inter Milan team. They had to park the hell of that, the living hell out of that bus at the Camp Nou. Obviously, because they comfortably won the first game three-one. But my point is like a manager like Guardiola would never let his team get that kind of hangover. Um, so I don't think that. Uh, in fact, I think being the first team ever in history to do four in a row will be actually a big motivator for them, right? Because that's how the City team have been going. That's how this manager has been like going so far. Like I, I, I definitely think um, it'll be a huge uh, confidence boost for them. Um, I think one key factor for them, which is something that you have mentioned, obviously for Arsenal and Liverpool, which I think applies to City as well, is the fact that they need to keep some of their main guys fit. I know they've had injury problems as well, just like the other two teams with John Stones missing a lot of the season. Uh, KDB obviously was out for majority of the season. Rodri missed games due to suspension, and um, uh, I don't think he got injured, but he was definitely he definitely missed games due to suspension. So they've had their even, own injury. Even problems. Haaland, even Haaland and KDB right now. Even Haaland, hundred percent. They're not even they're not even hundred exactly. percent right now. They're missing games here, game missing games there. Yeah, bro, it, it, injuries are there, bro. It's just it's just whether you can exactly. capitalize on them. You know exactly hundred percent. And hey. Who better than Pep, who knows how to rotate like your own the squad and and use the players to the best of their abilities to make sure he's managing. I mean, obviously the basketball they call it load management. Pause. I know. Um, yeah, pause, pause, and pause. 
if he if he does that as well with Man City, which he's been doing the last couple of years, like he, I think they have a better chance to keep players fit, even though they're still in the FA Cup and the Champions League. Yeah, say saying that, Ash, though, but I have to pull you up on that. Wouldn't you say, to a certain extent, he's kind of been a reason why they they have faulted in certain games? And I'll explain Ooh, it Pep. right now. Yeah, I'll explain it right oh, now. Explain it. He's trying to horseshoe players in. For instance, Alvarez. The way he's trying to uh, horse, uh, horseshoe... Shoe horse. Um, uh, shoe, shoe horse, sorry. Shoe, shoe horn. Shoe horse. Shoe horse. <laughs> shoe horse. horn. <laughs> hey, lay, la, la. Um, it's okay. It's shoe Ramadan. Horn. It's Ramadan. It's fine. Oh, yeah. Bro. Um, the way he's trying to shoehorn Alvarez into that team, bro. Midfield, left wing, behind the strike. Yeah. Bro, he can't play these positions, bro. And he just keeps on going and putting him in, the, in those positions. And it's not mm. working. It's not working. He's still doing it. I'm like, Pep, yeah. bro, you could be the reason that you lose the title this year. From just these you know, decisions. The, the, the funny thing with Alvarez, obviously, when KDB was out, he played him behind Haaland. So he played him as a attacking med slash second strike off, which, fair enough, it worked really well because he was scoring goals. He was winning them like games and stuff. So fair enough, I understand that. I think once KDB came back, the truth is he had to make a decision. He had to make a decision that, hey, KDB is in form. I'm starting him. Alvarez is on the bench. If you're starting Alvarez with KDB, that means you have to drop Haaland. That's just what it is. You can't try to force Alvarez by playing him right or left. And I'll tell you why he's doing it. The reason why he's doing it is because I don't think he trusts Doku. He doesn't trust Doku enough to play him no. consistently on the left. No, no, right? no, 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 no. That's not even it. He does not Chuck want Greenland. to lose Julian Alvarez, bro. He don't want to lose him. He has to put him in. <laughs> He has to. I bro, think he would keep Julian, him anyways. Julian, no, no. Julian Alvarez want to leave, bro. They were like, bro, do you realize that Julian Alvarez in Man City right now, he gets into every single other team in the in the Premier League. He gets into every, nearly every single team in 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 Europe, basically. I think, I think there's only a, the the, the, yeah. I think there's 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 only a, a few teams in Europe, maybe three or four teams in Europe that he doesn't get into. Yeah. But a load of them in Europe, massive teams he gets into, bro. Syria, mm. I think he gets into. Uh, apart from I don't know Inter. though, but sad like that but, goes against Pep's history though. He's never been someone who cares about keeping a player in the club. Like he even came out and said it, right? Like if a player asks me to leave, he will not even try to convince them. Be like, you want to leave, leave. And he's done that with Cancelo. He's done that with, I think even with Bernardo and stuff, I think the only reason he tried, uh, there were obviously these reports and not reports, but you know, the city players came out saying Bernardo is his favorite. It's like a, you know, teacher's pet and stuff like that. So I think maybe Bernardo Silva is an exception, but with every other player, like I feel like if they wanted to leave, he's not going to fight to keep them. I mean, the biggest example is Jesus. Right, I mean, yeah. Jesus was doing really well for them. They were playing him on the right. They played him as a striker. Um, he's, he's, they've moved him in different places. He started a bunch of games for Pep. Um, and I think it was a Pep signing as well. I think Pep is the one who wanted him in 2017 when they got him, um, when they won the Centurion season. Um, but when he wanted to leave to be the main striker, I don't think, like, he didn't care. And I think for someone like Pep, he knows I can sell Alvarez for like 50, 60 million, probably. Maybe even more in this current market. And I can easily go get a, a young striker because I think they already got a couple of guys like from they got someone from River Plate or, or someone from Argentina. I can't remember who they signed. Um, I think he's definitely like, he can if he wants to sell him. I think he would definitely like say, yeah, you know what, just go. I'm sorry if Alvarez wants to leave. I don't think Pep would fight to keep him, which is why I I don't feel he would start him just to keep him happy and jeopardize his right. league and Champions League. I don't know. I just I, feel I he doesn't just, trust Doku I because think... Doku hasn't shown up this season. Well, the thing is with Doku, the thing is with uh, Doku, uh, you see, Akhtar, Akhtar I don't know up. where this is going. Akhtar, Akhtar is <laughs> Akhtar's coming up with, bruh, he's coming up with some dangerous <laughs> stuff, bro. Stuff I, from his allegations. Allah, 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 Allah. But listen, I, these allegations, bro, Allah, it's on the blog, bro. It's crazy. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, just, but, I just want to say, shoot the ball does not condone this message. This is uh, Akhtar's opinion. <laughs> we have no say on, I have no idea. <laughs> so I'm not sure. Look, 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 look at Altus just adding to the fire, bro. Like, Allah. no, it doesn't make sense, yes. bro. Yeah. It makes a lot of sense. Nah, 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 it, yeah. doesn't. it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't. <laughs> I, but no, but I, I just think I just think he's way too good of a player. 
he for, is, him, to, for him to get rid good. of. Yeah, this guy, this guy won a World Cup and was instrumental in it. He's he was in their treble team, uh, bro. This guy, this guy is a very good striker if you play him in striker. That's yeah, yeah. why I don't think Pep wants to leave. Uh, with with the Jao Cancelo thing, I think uh, Jao Cancelo and him didn't have the best of relationship towards the latter end of it. They they mm. had an argument or a spout in the changing rooms or something like that. Um, when it comes to Jesus and Cole Palmer and these man, it was it was left to their decision. Riyad Mahrez. Riyad Riyad Mahrez. Uh, I was about to start speaking in Moroccan there. He went to he went he went to um to Saudi. He's gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there were rumors that some others could go as well. But I'm saying, like, I mean, remember there were strong rumors of Bernardo Silva being linked to Saudi, right? Like, I, I don't know. I he feel was like going to Barca. Really... Yeah, there were rumors of Barca too, but I just feel like if he really wanted to keep Mahrez, he could have convinced him to he could have said, Hey, you're gonna be my starting right winger the season done. Right, because they have struggled on the right wing. They've played Foden right, then played him in the mid. Then they played Alvarez right. They played Bernardo right. But like the difference I don't, I don't is, know. the difference is those players are all older. They this are is fresh. This is a fresh young player, and Cole mm. Palmer. I think you because you could use that as a counter argument. Say, oh, well, what about Cole Palmer? He just let him go. I think Cole Palmer wanted to play first team minutes to an extent that, bro, he wanted yeah, to be yeah. the main man, and that's never happening for USC. I don't care who you yeah. are. Like even Kevin De Bruyne and 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 Haaland sometimes ain't the main main man, bro. Because mm. they get they get dunked off in games, bro, and get left on the bench and they're pissing off. They're pissed off on the bench. He doesn't care. So you're never gonna be that main main guy. But if you look at what he's doing with Alvarez, bro, I think he just takes so it happens with every manager, bro. They just take a liking to certain players. You know, yeah, yeah. They take a like into certain players, and they'll play them no matter what. Mikel Arteta at the start had it with Hector Bellerin. Mm. He just took a like into him, played him in every single game, bro. It happens, bro. Every manager has that with the with the, with the players, um, and 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 Pep is not the no no different from that. To be honest, man. Yeah. You know what I mean, um, for me anyway. Um. I wanted to touch on this last point before we go to the fixtures. Um, Akhtar says, will absence of Ederson hurt them in the coming fixtures, including the game against Arsenal? Um, obviously, we saw he got injured against Liverpool uh, when he gave mm. away that penalty. Um, I don't know how long he's out for, but I think he will be missing our game, um, which means Ortega will probably be uh, stepping in for him. I, I don't know. What do you think? Like For me, I, look, I'll start with this. I... I I mean, he's obviously a very, very good keeper. I think he's instrumental to the way they build from the back. Um, I don't know if it'll hurt them as much just because I think Ortega usually steps up to the plate in the few games he's been asked to play. Uh, we saw him in the FA Cup final when he gave that long ball um, and they scored that goal, I think, in the first minute when Gundogan scored that first goal um, in the FA Cup final against United last year. So, I, I don't know. I feel like Ortega is a good enough backup. Um, if Ederson was, let's say, out for the rest of the season, I would have said maybe... Maybe because he's a decent shot stopper as well. Like, I don't think he gets enough credit for that. Um, mm. But I don't think it'll be that big of an absence that it'll impact their whole season if he's only out for a couple of games. Um, For me, I'm in agreement. I think, I think it doesn't affect them because it's just a couple of games. And Ortega, bro, I like him, bro. As a keeper... He's like he's like a first team keeper. He's a first. He, he's like, he's like a number one that just said, "Ah, oh, you know, I'll be number two then." Okay, if I get to win trophies, I'll be number two. That's that's basically what he is, because he has the ability to be a number one keeper at a lot of top European clubs, bro. He's actually a very good keeper. If you look at how calm he is and composed he is, with even when the defense changes, he's still mm. calm. Do you know what I mean? So, because he plays FA Cups, he plays uh, the other cup games, League Cups, yeah, League Cups. Uh, you know, sometimes he has to step in in the Premier League, and he never puts a foot wrong, to be honest, never, yep. um, or very rarely. So, I, I don't think this is going to have as much of an effect because just because of how um, how highly I rate um, Ortega, I, th I think he's a 
I think he's a very good keeper. So I don't think it will it will still be. Obviously, there's a certain level that you get with Edison, which is like world class. Mm. He's a world class keeper. I wouldn't say Ortega is world class, but Edison no. is a world class keeper. So there is a, a drop off there, but I don't think the drop off is massive, bro. It's not like we're dropping from uh, freaking Allison all the way down to Ben Foster, bro. It's not. It's not that kind of drop off. You know Allison I mean? to Adrian, yeah. Hey, Allison to Adrian is a crazy one, right? Hey, hey, yeah. listen. Let's hope. Let's hope no Liverpool fans are here to start crying, bro. Because that Adrian, yeah, one, yeah, honestly, they, when they saw Kelleher go down for a second, bro, they were like, "Hey, relax, bro. Step back up, bro. We don't need you getting injured, bro. Not Adrian, bro. We ain't trying to see that." Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh, look, okay, I think we're towards the end, so we will do the, the fixtures now. Uh, mm. This is uh, a bit exciting for me because we'll get to see actually where we think. I think this will give us a realistic picture of where we actually see, what we actually see happening towards the end of the season. Are you going to hide uh, it? Are you going to hide the points, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I am going to hide the points because yeah, yeah, I don't nice want fun. us nice. to do like Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, I'm going to hide the uh, points. That way, in the end, we put the points and we actually see whatever shows up. We're like, oh, shit. So it is what it is. So I'm just going to share that right now. That would give us the realistic, like, that's that's just what we think. It's not based on any bias or what we want to happen. It, exactly. We have to just answer it on what we think is going to happen. Exactly. So look, right now, obviously, we're currently on 64 points. Liverpool is on 64 mm -hmm. and City is on 63. Um, I have put the double asterisk. I have, the, whatever games are going to be rescheduled, I've just put them towards the end. Um, so we will they're going to be before the, that one. They're I know definitely they're going to be, be on that before week. the end, yeah. It's going to be before the Tottenham game. So, so I know Chelsea will probably be between Wolves and Tottenham. Uh, no, but they're going to... They're, that Chelsea game, on that... Because on we, that have, we have a days, week off. Yeah, yeah. So on that three, on that three, on that week, yeah. there's a, there's three games being played. There's going to be our game against Chelsea, the Everton one, and the Brighton one. For for yeah, Man City. exactly. They're all going to be played exactly. on that week. I think Man exactly. City play first, Liverpool play second, and then we play third on the Thursday. Yeah. So I think I think what we'll do is when we're predicting, we'll after Wolves, we'll go straight to Chelsea, Everton, Brighton, and then we'll continue mm -hmm. again. Yeah. Because cool. yeah. I'm going to hide the points. Um, and yeah, let's kick start this. So, uh, but, and obviously, guys, just for you guys watching. So, the way it'll work is let's say if I predict that we will win against City, I would put like three points. Um, that'll automatically change it to green. Let's say if I think it'll be a draw, it'll change to yellow. And if I put it um, as a loss, then obviously zero, it'll change to red. So, we'll be able to get uh, better. You need to well. teach me. Well, you need to teach me how to do this, bro. You know how useless I am with Excel, bro. It's crazy. It's crazy, bro. <laughs> no, no, it's it's pretty simple. I'll, I'll yeah, I'll teach you these things. It's very simple. Um, but cool, sad. Um, we're gonna start with a big one, a big, big one. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go by row, by the way, sad. So we'll do like mm -hmm. the entire like fixture for like Arsenal, Liverpool, and Man City that game week. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, we have to start with the big, big game. Uh, and that is Man City versus Arsenal away from home. What do you think will happen here? Uh, I think it's going to be a very close game. Yeah. Uh, for both. You don't have to give me a score team. prediction, by the way. You could just give me like win, draw, or loss. But yeah. Oh, okay. Um, for this one, I'm going to go for a win for Arsenal. Um, Damn. I, th okay. I think, I think, I think we, I think we're 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 ready to get over the line for this one. I, I I think I think the where the team is right now. If we had if we had lost or drawn against uh, Porto, and got kicked out of the Champions League, it would have been way different. It would have but had a knock off. The fact the fact that we won, and the players are all happy, and I see how they are in training, bro. I know it's only training, but bro, they look on job, bro. If you go, if you go and watch. Uh, if you go and watch the training, um, if you go and watch the training from the, well, actually, I think you got to put it to zero in it on that other one for Man City. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. There, bad, there you bad. are. There you are. Why are you trying to falsify yeah. my my results? He's a fraud. A you fraud. see, guys, this is this is what I'm <laughs> does, yeah? He's a fraud. He's trying to falsify my results. So, Halas, Man City win the league. 
There we are. Yeah, there uh, you go. No, That's just... it. I'll be like, hey, you chose this. You selected this. Hey, you put the number. <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, uh, just for me, I just feel like there's a difference right now. Like there's just a, a vibe. It's not like last. It doesn't feel like last season. Last season, it really felt like we were just watching and see. Oh my god, are they gonna catch us? Are they gonna catch us? Now this season, it really looks like the players don't give an f. Mm. They're just, they're just like, bro, we're just we what we focus on our games and what we're doing. We win these games. Khalas, alhamdulillah, we do our thing, and we get out yeah. of the way. You know, and and that, that's how I feel. I feel like it's a different thing, a, a different one for me this season, to be honest. So I think we all go ahead and win I- this game. I hear you, man, and I hope you're right. I really pray you're right uh, because I think if we win that game, um, I, I don't know if we would. I would necessarily we're say favorites. we're favorites. No, no, I, we're favorites. We're, we're favorites. I mean, we're favorites, bro. I mean, remember, Liverpool would Liverpool would still be level on points with us if they win their game. So that's why I'm I'm still a bit hesitant to say that because we still go away to Tottenham and away to United. Which uh, shall I tell you why? Point. Shall I tell you why we're favorites? Just before you you move on, yeah. The reason yeah. why I say we're favorites. But if we beat City, is because mm. the momentum that that gives you as a team to go to the Champions Ground and beat them. If we look at past times that we beat Manchester United at home mm. at Old Trafford in 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 title runnings, bro, and the momentum that gives you. If you look at when Chelsea beat, um, if when Chelsea beat Man City at their ground in title runnings, yeah. when Liverpool beat Man City at their ground in title runnings, like. Bro, it's momentum. The momentum boost you get from beating the champion at their ground yeah. is monumental, bro. That that yeah. just boosts the team, bro. So I that's why I think we're favourites if we win at the at the Man City ground. Yeah, yeah. I look. I hear you. It's a, it's a solid, solid argument. Um, I just feel like Liverpool would still be in the race as well. But I I, mm. I think a a defeat if City lose to us at the Etihad, I think that rules them out of winning it. For yeah, sure. Yeah. Like, because they'll they'll be like four points behind us and Liverpool, and obviously, yes, four points with nine games to go is not uh, an unsurmount- unsurmountable like difference. But given that both Arsenal and Liverpool are also in very very good form, I don't see them closing that four points gap with both Arsenal and Liverpool. So, I think that'll end the season for City in terms of the league. However, I am gonna disappoint Arsenal fans who watch this. I don't think we'll beat them, given their. Record though against all the big teams this season, uh, even at home, um, I don't think they'll beat us either. So I am going to go for a draw. Um, I do hope that I'm wrong and Saad's prediction is the correct one, uh, but I do think it'll be in a, it'll end in a draw because City are going to come into this game knowing that it's do or die for them, right? Uh, or pre- almost do or die for them in the Premier League, um, and they are playing a big team, so they are going to be prepared for it. And look, City usually. When it comes to the business end of the season, when they play one of these some of these big games, they don't lose, right? And Rodri's record is pretty mm-hmm. phenomenal, like 60 or 61 games in a row unbeaten. Um, so I, I do think they'll probably keep that run going. But I I think we'll be a lot stronger for them this season than we were last year when they smashed us 4-1. Um, and we have most of our players available, if not all, uh, which hopefully should help us secure at least a point. So I'm going with a point here. Um We'll move to Liverpool, Brighton. This is at home for Liverpool. Uh, what are you saying, Saad? Actually, I'm going to start this one. Um, I'm going to start this one. Yeah, I go think ahead. this is an go easy ahead. three points for them just because it's at Anfield. I generally don't feel like they will lose any, drop any points at Anfield. We will still go through them regardless, but I think Brighton away from home are not the best. Um, and Liverpool at Anfield in a title race that's super close. Um, I think they will end up winning this game. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think they play first, right? Before we play on Sunday. Uh, yes, they uh, play at 2pm and then we play at 4.30, on... I think. Oh, there you go. So, like, it, I think it'll be... Yeah, yeah, I don't think they'll have that pressure because I think if Arsenal or... If Arsenal win that game, I think they'll have that pressure of, yo, we need to win this game to stay in touch with Arsenal, but I think given that they're playing first, it'll be a little less pressurizing as well. Hmm. Yeah, listen, I agree with you, man. I think... Home team, bro, it's very difficult to go and beat Liverpool at Anfield, man. It's very difficult, or even to get a draw. 
you know what i mean mm. we have to we 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 done it by hook or by crook bro we 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 struggled bro to get that to get that point at times bro because they really start to pump the pressure onto you and they really start to get shots on goal do you know what i mean especially at anfield like bro at one point they were five against one against Declan rice bro like oh. and and it, it was by luck and nothing else that we came out of anfield with a point by mm. luck um but yeah i i think i think brighton listen they managed to get a good result against them at the um at the amex stadium yeah different story when you go to anfield man i i think i think this very is different be points for for liverpool man i, th I think they're just gonna gonna beat them and it's gonna be an easy win as well i don't think it's gonna be a difficult one for them unfortunately not trying to disrespect brighton or anything it's just it's just the facts bro yeah yeah I agree. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, we'll try to move through the rest of these a bit quicker. So Luton Town, I mean, that's such an easy win. I mean, yeah, if we yeah. lose this game, bro, we don't deserve to win the title, honestly. Yeah, it's, it's embarrassing, just three, bro. three points, bro. Three points, bro. Oh, yeah, bro. yeah, honestly. But like, if we actually sit there and have a discussion about Luton at home... It's mad. It's mad, yeah. There's problems. There's yeah. problems. Yeah. This uh, one for me, it's well, the same yeah. thing with Sheffield as well. well like, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, the most embarrassing. <laughs> records, like... records are going to be broken that weekend, like, bro, in, in terms of goal scoring. Like, so, yeah. Um, <laughs> City, Aston Villa. What are you saying for this one? I'll start with you for this one. I want to say draw. Mm. But I think they're going to win it. I think okay. they're going to win if yeah. if I'm being realistic, I think yeah. it's gonna be a win. Uh I, I just think Aston Villa's away form. I know they I know they're still pretty high in the league on away form basis, but bro, they struggle at times, man. Especially against the big six, they struggle at times um when they're away um against the big six. Um mm. so yeah, I I, th I think it's gonna be a win for Manchester City. I think some Manchester City fans are just overrating this game just because they got beaten. At um at Villa Park, bro. Yeah, because they just got beaten at Villa Park. Yeah, they were white. Well, yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. They were they were they were smoked. They got smoked. Um, but just because that happened doesn't mean Pep doesn't want to get his get back, bro. He is there. He remembers that, bro. So he's gonna get his get back some way, shape, or form. So yeah, I I think it's it's, it's gonna be a win for them, from my point yeah. of view. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, I'm going to go with three points as well um, over here. Um, I think it, it should be an easy win for City. I mean, I know Aston Villa are fourth mm. in the league. They've been amazing this season. Big up to Unai Emery and Aston Villa. They've actually impressed the season. But yeah, at the Etihad in a title running race, business end of the season, they're not getting anything. Mm. Um, Brighton. Brighton this away. Is this is cool, bro. This is where it gets a bit tricky. This is where it gets Thank a bit you. tricky. Um, yeah, look, I'm going to start this. I'm, uh, it's, uh, even though it's obviously like a difficult fixture, obviously away from home. Um, I just look back, as you mentioned, like Midoma is obviously out. I think he's always given us issues whenever he's played against us, um, especially in last season's fixture. I mean, he's the one who inspired them to come back. I didn't really come back in the end. I mean, they almost did, but we managed to hold them off. Um, I do think that when we play, their kind of footballing style really works with us. Um, mm. I know they gave us a lot of trouble two, three years in a row, especially at home. Uh, we've finally broken that that jinx this season. Um, but I see us going there and winning. I, I do see us going there and getting all three points. So I'm going to put three points for us. I I also see us winning. I don't think it's going to be an easy win. Um, but I do see us winning. I think at home, we completely blitzed them, bro. Like, that was um a brilliant performance from us at home against um Brighton but i think this game away you know the fans are going to try and make it harder than it has to be um but i still think we have enough to get over the line um obviously after this game we have we have the Bayern Munich games which i think we have to take into account for the next one <laughs> but i was i was trying to check cuz i didn't know whether Brighton had um i didn't know whether the uh, uh bayern munich game was before brighton or after brighton but it's after brighton that we play bayern so yes yeah, it's, it's, i i think for this one i'm gonna go win um 
it's not going to be an easy one. It's not going to be an easy mm. win. It would, yeah, yeah, definitely it wouldn't be easy. But I, I do think we'll win. I agree with you. Uh, cool, Liverpool. Ah, oh, big, big one for them. I think this is where hopefully there could be a a, a, a slip up. But um, I don't know. I'll start with you for this one. Like, what? How do you see this one going for Liverpool? Uh, I see. A, I see. Are oh, they gonna win, man? Because if you look at if you look at the actual overall overarching uh, performance from, mm. um, uh, sorry, the overall point, um, the overall performance from Manchester United was not was not very good, bro. In that final, mm. and they the lived off of moments, bro. Yeah, they, yeah, they yeah. lived off of moments. They lived off of it being a a proper cup game. This is now mm. the league. Very different circumstances. Very different. Would they have enough to to beat Manchester uh, to beat uh, Liverpool? No. Do they have enough to get a draw? Mm. I I don't think so. I Damn. think I I I think Liverpool could win that. Genuinely. I think okay. they could win that. Okay. I, bro, I mean, honestly, if Liverpool win that game, like, I, I would be shocked to see that they're not favourites, honestly, because this is the biggest game where people think they will drop points just because mm. it's the biggest, like, you know, rivalry in, in England and they haven't beaten them in two games this season, obviously, mm -hmm. um, uh, at Anfield and at Old Trafford, obviously, in the Cup. Um, here's the thing, you know, as funny as it sounds, I feel United beating them in the Cup actually would affect the Premier League game because I don't see Liverpool losing back-to-back -to, -back to United, especially this United team. If this was That's United of like 10, 15 years ago, I'd say, yeah, of course it can happen. But because this United team for me, I feel is like vibes and inshallah. That's it, right? Yeah, yeah. Like they, have, they have a couple of players who show up and do these things like Anthony scoring with his right foot would never happen again like in, in a million years like that. Um, obviously, Rashford is in one of the worst forms. He scored the equalizing goal, the third goal, and people suddenly forgot how crap he was throughout that game. Um, and the only shining light for them was like Kobe Menu, I think, throughout the game. So I, I don't know. I, I, I don't think United will win. I agree with you. However, however, I do see this ending in a draw only because there's added impetus or there's added motivation for United, and that is to stop Liverpool from winning the league. Mm -hmm. Um and again, given that, given that Liverpool are going to be playing Europa League, I know they've got Atalanta, which they should, I think, uh, brush aside in the Europa League. But again, the added fixtures and stuff, I'm not sure how that will... I think that will impact them. Um, so I am going to go with a draw here because I, I, they have struggled against United twice this season. So I feel like it might continue again, uh, especially given that it's Old Trafford. So I'm going with a draw for here. Mm -hmm. City Crystal Palace. Um, you know what? I'm going to let you start with this. I'm going to let you start with this. What? How do you see this one going? A bogey team for City. Draw. One or oh! one. <laughs> Bro, I'm going to spoil mine right now. Draw as well. Uh, that's exactly how we're going to say. I, I, I think, bro, these men have got something for Man City, bro. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, yeah. They, they've given, they've given a lot of teams. Liverpool, City. They've given hard games, bro. Hundred percent. Salas Park, bro. Salas Park isn't easy for big teams to go to, bro, because they make it like a dog's game, bro. Like they mm. make it like that, bro, for, for a reason. Because they're like, okay, say less. You wanna, you wanna come here, bro? Come play in the mud, man. Play in the mud with us. Let's see how you can handle it. <laughs> yeah, with your fancy little, with, with your fancy football and flights and international flights and going to uh, Bayern Munich and going to this and going to that, bro. They be like, come down, play with the mud. Play the mud for us, bro. So I feel like they could draw that, man. I feel like they could draw that. I do. I, I do as well. And honestly, I'm only going based on the fact that they are usually a bogey team for City. Because if you look at Crystal Palace's form and the team they have and all, it's 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 so <laughs> shit. I'm surprised they're not in relegation right now. The only reason they're not in relegation right now is because there are three horrendous teams in Sheffield United, Luton, and 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 uh, and Burnley. Otherwise, they would have easily got relegated. Uh, but 
because they usually are a bogey team for City. I mean, they drew with them at the Etihad. They were 2 0 down. Yeah, that was crazy. And came back in the last like five minutes or 10 minutes. So I do see it ending in a draw. Um, obviously, City, uh, it's not, it, it won't be shocking if City win. But I definitely would not be surprised if, if Crystal Palace. I would be slightly surprised if Crystal Palace win, right? Because I I do I don't think they have the quality to actually go get all three points. But I think defensively they will make it quite difficult for Man City. So I'm going with a point there. Hmm. Aston Villa at home, bro. I'm not even going to labor on this. I'm just going to tell you it's straight three points. I I don't rate this Aston Villa team away from home. Yeah, um, to be honest, even at home, this recently they've been hor- horrendous. They got smashed 4 0 by Spurs. I think they lost to Chelsea as well at Villa Park. Uh, I think the home think form, the, the home form was the home form was more of a. You know, when we speak about momentum, I felt like yeah, they had yeah. momentum. I felt like they were living off of that record. Oh, let's let's yeah. beat the record of consecutive home wins. Once mm. they beat it, bro, everything went to went to absolute poo, bro. It was crazy. It did. You know what happens quick. So, yeah, I, I think three points for us, man. I don't think the other thing they'll lay a glove on us um, at home. Fair. To be honest. I, I'm going to skip. Before we do Liverpool, I'm going to skip to Luton and just put three for both of us here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Unless you come up with some crazy stuff. If you tell me Luton is getting something, bro, like we're going to end this right here. Okay. So, <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. that's, that's the DEFCON 5, bro, for, for City. If no, they're okay. losing to Luton at home or drawing at home to Luton, bro, you're skunked, bro. That's yeah, crazy. It's mad. It's mad. <laughs> Crystal Palace at home. Uh, what you're saying? I'm going to just give mine three points. I don't know what you're thinking. Do you think they could do back to back shocks? I think so. I think they could wow. get a I think at they could Anfield. Get a yeah. Mm. Because when they went to Sellers Park, you remember there was the whole thing with him being injured yeah, yeah. with with the whole uh, foul and penalties and all of that i think they could be coming back with some with some sort of like you know what i mean we bro we can we can get something on these guys we could touch these guys and uh, to be honest i'm not i'm not i'm not really too confident now that i i think man united are going to get a win bro because the way you explained it is actually a very good explanation mm. for why they'd get a draw are we allowed so to change the yours? previous one? Yeah, yeah of I'll, course. I'll 100%, draw, 100%. I think they'll get a draw, man. I so think you'll they'll think they'll get draw. back-to-back draws, Liverpool? Yes. I'll tell you I for why. Okay. Because so. Europa, League, Europa League starts to get involved. Yeah. Europa League starts to get involved, yeah? All of a sudden, you have... Um, uh, all of a sudden, you have the Europa League coming in, and it's all about whether their team can actually handle the the fixtures. Is that they're gonna have players that are recovering and coming back from injury, bro? So they're gonna need mm. a couple of weeks to get to get back to full fitness. Um, and it's and it's towards the end of the running, bro. I think for us, yep. even even though we I put three points there for the Aston Villa game, I'm thinking about it now. That's in between both buying games. So also yeah. I have to take into I have to take into question what that's gonna do to us. But I still think so we you can want to win change it. your prediction there. Oh. No, 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 hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I still think we I still think we can win that one, but it's just it's not gonna be as easy as I thought. Because I, I actually just for a second there forgot about the buying games, but I think they'll they'll ha- they mm-hmm. can have an effect on us. Um yep. for that one. But um, yeah, I, I think I think they'll drop points on on back to back games there. I think I, I, genuinely, I genuinely feel like that could happen. Inshallah, bro. We pray, we pray. Uh, okay, we've got Wolves away next. I'll start with you for this one. I'll let you go start. Yeah, this is where we drop points. Oh, a defeat or a draw? One, uh, a draw. I okay. think I think we 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 draw this game. Uh, uh, okay. Wolves, wolves are weird, bro. Mm. They're just weird. I know we smacked them uh, at home. We didn't really. I, I mean, we won two. No, no, yeah, Performance-wise, we did. Yeah. Uh, sorry, performance-wise, I meant. Yes. So performance-wise, yes. we yes. outperformed them massively. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I just, I just feel like we're gonna draw. 
yeah. I feel like they're, they're hey. at home. They're at home, Wolves have looked. I'm telling you, bro. They've they've actually looked electric, bro. They they run the game. You know, Gary O'Neill's had them playing very good football. It's it's nice. It's uh, well organized. You know what I mean? He's mm. he's a very good manager, bro. Like a very yeah. good manager, bro. I can see him getting to the top level and managing big clubs, bro. I genuinely can see him doing that, man. But really, yeah, I feel like yeah, yeah. Gary O'Neill. I've always had a shout for him, bro. I think I think he'll mm. manage one of the big clubs. I think that's who. Funny enough, that's who Manchester United should be going for. In my personal opinion, uh, Man United. Should I don't know if, he has... if they were, if they wanted to if they wanted to to succeed, I think they should be going for Gary O'Neill. He plays brilliant football. He knows how to handle a dressing room with issues, bro. Listen, man. I, I, he might just need to know how to handle, learn how to handle the egos, like the big, big egos. Mm. But I, I think he's a good manager on the pitch, man. He's got good tactics. Yeah. Look, I mean, and they're good. I mean, they're ninth in the league for a reason. Obviously, they have been playing well. They beat City, obviously, at their ground. Mm. Um, I, 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 they have Matthias Cunha, Pedro Neto, and I think Huang all injured. But I think, except for Pedro Neto, the others come back uh, soon. I think so. Uh, they'll probably have them ready for our game. Uh, I don't know. Even though everything should tell me that we are going to drop points, I still think we're going to win that game. Um we have done well at, at Wolves uh, like for the last couple of seasons. I think we won their last two seasons, if I'm not wrong. Um, so I don't know. I just, I just feel we'll be a bit too strong for them. And again, mm. usually because these teams try to come out and attack a little bit sometimes, I, I, I think we'll have a lot for them. Um, God mm. forbid, like barring any injuries or something like that. So yeah, I see us. I see us winning that game against uh, Wolves. Mm. We'll go to Fulham away. And we remember how the first game went at Anfield. Obviously, 4-3. Liverpool came in like the dying minutes, scored two goals. Um, Fulham have been a difficult team this season. They smashed Spurs recently, 3-0. Uh, beat us, unfortunately, as well. Uh, Craven Cottage. Um, how do you see this one going? Well, you have to start, brother. You have to start because I started the last one. There you Bro, are. Bro, for me... Uh, no, no, no. I'll, I'll start. I'll start. I'll start. I think... Because it's away from home, I do see Liverpool dropping points. I do see Liverpool dropping points. Like I, I, I don't think Liverpool will go through a period of like back-to-back uh, drops in points. Um, actually, you know what? No, 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 no. I think they'll win. Fulham are a bit crazy like that, man. Sometimes they'll play really well and then they end up losing the weirdest game. So I, I think they'll they'll end up beating uh, Fulham. I'm going to give a spoiler from now itself. The reason I'm saying that is because I think they'll drop points in the next game. But anyways, I won't tell you what will happen, but I just think they'll drop points against West Ham. So I do think they'll, they'll beat okay. Fulham. Um, I think they'll beat Fulham as well. Okay. I think okay. I think that's a, that's a win for... for, for um, like Exactly like you said, bro. They're a weird team, bro. Mm-hmm. Fulham, Fulham are weird. They play very good at times, and all of a sudden they just drop a stinker, bro. I don't know. Marco Silva okay. looks like he's about to pull his hair out, bro. On the touchline sometimes, bro. He's just watching. He's like, bro, what happened to the team from last week, bro? What is it's this? Mad. <laughs> it's mad. I've do you never remember seen the, the middle teams, of the season bro. when they had... Uh, do you remember the middle of the season when they had back-to-back 5-0, five 5-0 nil, five nil wins? 5 nils, like, yeah. Oh, this team is cooking. And then they go bro. on to the next... I don't know. It's such a weird team. It's such a weird team, bro, honestly. Um, Forrest is interesting, bro. Mm. Forest is interesting. I'll tell you mine right now. I think City yeah. are dropping points. I think they could drop points there as well, bro. I yeah. think it's, remember it's a draw. they dropped points last year there as well. Yeah. I think a draw. Mm. It's weird. Away away from home, they've been they've been very hit and miss. Yeah, they've the been very right susceptible. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they've been susceptible to counter attacks, bro. It's counter attack mm. killed them, bro, and not finishing off their chances, bro. Not finishing their dinner. Mm. And I think I think they can they can drop points there, man. I think they can yeah. drop points. Um yeah. in that to be honest. Um yeah, yeah. That's I I I think they I think they can drop points just because it's susceptible to counter attacks, it's away ground. They like to make we saw how they the the way they handled Brent uh, Bournemouth, 
yeah. just makes me more confident that that's going to be a draw that game. Forget Bournemouth, even Liverpool. When they played Liverpool um, at their ground, obviously, like yeah, they ended up losing. But I'm using the, the end. but I'm using I'm using I'm just trying to use a smaller team with a with a smaller stadium, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even though the City ground wasn't really. Um, oh, oh, you uh, mean sorry, City uh, when no, they played uh, Bournemouth? Ah, um, oh, okay, okay, okay. Not the City yeah, ground. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, it is City ground, uh, Forest. But even it, it, though yeah, it's not yeah, yeah. really small, small stadium, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I was referring to Forest when Forest played Liverpool. Like they gave uh, uh, they gave them a very very difficult game, and yes, they lost in the end. It was stupidly when mm. uh, Taiwo gave the ball away, uh, or was it Callum Hudson Odoi? I can't remember. But Bro, outside that, me. like they played really well. So I think they will have learned from that, and they will be a lot better in this game as well. Mm. Cool. Um, I don't want us to go over time, so we'll just quickly go through the other ones. Okay. Yeah. So I did say after Wolves, we'll do the. The, the 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 rescheduled game so i will jump to chelsea uh, which i think should be played after wolves um yeah. look they have been well against some other top six sides i know they smashed tottenham obviously 4-1 when tottenham had those two red cards they obviously uh, drew home and away to to city drew at home against liverpool i feel because we already dropped points away from home like we are a lot better now than than yeah. than what we were at that time um and even when Chelsea are at their best, they come to the Emirates and they struggle. So I think when we are in a title race, in the business end of the season, at the Emirates, I, I don't care what form they're in. I, I, I see us winning that game. I'm not going to say we're going to smash yeah. them or anything like that. I don't think we're going to smash them, but I do think we'll win. I think I think we'll win as well, man. I just, I feel like they, 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 they played on the atmosphere and mm. the crowd helped them a lot through that game. And and mm. and to be honest, we weren't playing that good. To be honest, they they completely yeah. outplayed us on the pitch as well. Um, but we just look so different now. I think this is a completely different team that they're playing against. So, yeah, I'm going to go for a win for that one. I think we can win that one. Yeah. So Everton then away the derby, Merseyside derby. That's the draw, mate. That's the draw, bro. I know that, bro. Really. Fact. I know that for a fact that's going to be a draw, bro. Hmm. I, it's just a, a bro. I just have a feeling, bro. Would ever could be, bro. could be. Derby games are obviously always difficult, but Branthwaite. I don't know. Branthwaite with a with a header, bro. Bang off the corner. Inshallah. 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 Uh, I'm gonna predict a win. If it's a rescheduled game, middle of the week, Liverpool are gonna be up for it. Um, even though it's at Goodison Park. Everton are just so damn shit, man. Like they, they have had moments this season when they got the 10 points at Oxford and they were playing really well, but and obviously it got reduced to six. So I think that that might have helped them a bit. Um, obviously, they're far away from relegation, so that's not a danger for them. Um, which for me is another reason why I don't think Liverpool will drop because I don't feel like Everton have that extra motivation to also stay up, um, which is why I do think Liverpool will end up outplaying them. I just remember whenever Liverpool have played at Goodison Park in these title races, like they've usually won. So, yeah, I, th I think they'll end up winning. Cool. We come to Brighton. So, I'll start this one. Bro, Brighton against City is always an exciting game. Last season, even though City, when they went there, the league was already wrapped up um, and they had won it officially. They ended up drawing. Brighton played an amazing game. Um... I think at home it'll always be uh, difficult for any team to go to Brighton and 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 uh, have a good game. I I know I predicted that we would beat them. Um, obviously predicted Liverpool would beat them as well, although that's at Anfield. Um, I think when a team like Brighton sometimes attacks City and 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 tries to go forward, they could cause trouble. And City do leave gaps in defense, so I do think. Actually, no, 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 no. I think City will win. I think City will win, bro. Same. I just, I don't same. trust Brighton's defense. Yeah. Oh, same for you. Okay. No, I already explained it at the start. I don't. I don't. Yeah. Uh, I think I think Brighton they know how to play against against like a team like City. Yeah. But, bro, it's it's just uh, Matoma not being there takes away from their offense a Duck. lot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Their their attack is just it lacks, bro. When 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 Matoma's not there, bro, he's the outlet, bro, all the time. Mm. So 
yeah, it just it, it, it isn't the same team without Matoma there, unfortunately. Okay. Me. Uh, I'm gonna leave the Tottenham game last for all three because I like as Akhtar has mentioned, um, Tottenham may well decide the title, and he's right. They could play uh, a big, big uh, factor in that. He's also mentioned. Remember, Liverpool needed 98 minutes to win a game. Liverpool barely managed to win a few games in recent fixtures. I agree. I agree. But even City, City struggled in some games, so it could happen to them. I that, and this is why I understand where um, Saad is coming with in terms of them dropping points to Crystal Palace and and Everton and stuff because I do see that happening. Um, yes, they've managed their squad really well even with injuries this season, but um, I can see that scenario happening where where they drop these drop points in these weird games. Um, but as I said, we leave the Tottenham thing last. So I'll skip yeah. Tottenham here. I'll go to West Ham, Liverpool, away from home. Now, the reason I said win here is because I don't see Liverpool winning here. I actually think West Ham will give them a very, very difficult game. Uh, mm. They have players that can hurt them. And obviously, when you play uh, the London Stadium, it's 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 never easy for any team. Um I know it was easy for us, to be honest. We smashed them 6-0. Um, but I don't think it'll be as easy for Liverpool. I generally don't think it'll be as easy for Liverpool. So I'm going to I'm gonna make a shock claim. I think Liverpool lose this game. Really? Inshallah. I do. As, you, as you've been saying, inshallah. Inshallah. I, I do see them losing that game. What are you saying? I think they win this game. Fair. I think yeah. I think uh, West Ham are so hot and cold right now, like mm. especially with this Paqueta guy coming back. Uh, yeah. To the to the to the lineup, they they're good, but then they're bad. Like they they go and they win against um who was it that they won against? Let me just bring up the game. So because they had this weird fixture. Mm. Oh, what is this? Sorry, brother. One second. Uh, no, no, no. All good. Yeah. Look. How does this? How does this make sense? How does this make sense? Yeah. So, all of a sudden, yeah, Pakata comes back, yeah, and then they win three-one uh, against Everton, yeah, three-one mm. against Everton. They're flying. You know what I mean? Doing good, uh, playing well. All of this, yeah. They go and they lose to Freiburg. They come back, yeah, into the Draw Premier to League, bro. Who the hell draws to Burnley, bro? Yeah. At home. And they were, they, they were Who two the hell draws down. to Burnley, bro? Yeah, hmm. that's what I'm saying. They were 2 no down, bro. With, I think there was a red card in that game, I think. Let me double check. No, there wasn't. But, uh, bro, who the, hell, who the hell draws to Burnley, bro? It's mad. How can you draw to but... Burnley, bro? So I can't. I, I just, but then I they smashed Freiburg five nil. Yeah, 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 but it's Freiburg, bro. Let's 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 really. <laughs> Why do you say it like that? I said it is. It is, yeah, because it, it is Freiburg. It, it, it's Freiburg, yeah, it is, bro. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, like, bro, that Burnley, that Burnley draw, bro, at home. Oh, doesn't get it doesn't feel you know what you've you've convinced bro. me you've convinced me bro you've convinced me I'm gonna change my prediction I still think they'll drop points but I'm gonna put um a yeah, point I don't, you're bro. right actually in fact you know what no 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 you've convinced me so much I'm actually giving them a win and I'm changing a draw here because I think they'll drop points away to Fulham or to West Ham I just don't know which one and the way you're actually making it like you're right bro like the chances of them dropping to West Ham based on everything you've said like Bruh. at home to Burnley. Holy That's shit. That's crazy. Man. Like that draw, yeah, that draw right. is crazy, bro. You're it was right, crazy. You're right. And I was pissed off I because act- on on Ahua, I, I, I predicted that it was gonna be it was gonna be like a 4-0 win or something like that, bro. Because that's been, it's them, bro. It should have been. It should have been. It's shocking that they had to come back. But fair. So I think we both have West Ham losing yeah. that game. Uh Man City Wolves at win. home. Oh I'm win, yeah, I agree. They're gonna, bro. they're gonna get uh, revenge. Yeah, yeah. They're gonna get revenge for sure. Okay, Bournemouth, horrendous team. We should be smashing them. Win. Yeah. 
Okay, Tottenham, I'll ignore for now. Fulham, away. Mm. I'm saying a win for me, bro. I think so, yeah. I think it's a win. I don't think I don't think Liverpool, uh, Man City have that same thing as Liverpool. Liverpool, for some yeah. reason, they got touched by these guys last time Correct. they played at Anfield, bro. So, yeah, I, just, I don't think it's they got that same thing, man. Yeah. Uh, okay, you, United away. This is obviously a very difficult fixture. Now, I'll be honest with you, bro. Uh, yes, I know we lost there last season, even though we were way better than them. Um, and we lost there the year before that, even though, again, we were better than them. Um, so fair enough. Like People can say, like, you haven't won there in the last two seasons. You've struggled. However, I think there's a clear gap between our teams. Uh, yes, they've shown up against... Uh, Liverpool, obviously, and all that stuff. But we all know that was more Liverpool being horrendous than United, like, just outplaying Liverpool. Uh, I don't think we'll win, though. I am going to, unfortunately, predict that we're not going to win. Um, I don't think we'll lose either, though. I, I think we'll have enough to at least get a draw. If I had to say who do I think is closer to a win, I definitely think it's Arsenal. Like, I'd, yeah. I'd be incredibly shocked if we go into that game let's say we're challenging for the title, we're still in the title race, and we end up losing that game. I, I'd be honestly quite shocked. So uh, regardless of what's happening in the Champions League, just because United just don't have that quality. And United will not play against us the way they would play against Liverpool or Man City because those are like mm. derbies and stuff. So those are like way bigger games for them. Um, so I am going to predict a draw. I just, I don't know. I feel like the old Trafford thing, exactly will, the same. The voodoo will come back to us. Oh, really? Okay. I'm exactly the same. I just have a weird feeling we're going to draw this game. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I just have a weird feeling, bro. These guys these guys are going to try and do everything. Unless, unless we have to win, mm. to win the league. Then maybe. Uh, yeah. They might then just maybe. let us have e it. You know, even then, if, if we have to absolutely win to win the league or to stay on top... I feel like United would buck the hell out of that bus. They would do what they did against Liverpool at Anfield. They would just sit back and say, you know what, screw it, we'll just play on the counter. Because they it's not it's not beneath them, like I feel for them to do that. I, I, I genuinely feel like they would approach the game in that way because I don't think they'll want us to win the league at their ground, obviously. Um, and that is gonna be the second last game of the season. So they know that if we win that game and we're yeah. top of the league, we're we're not losing the last game. Um mm. so yeah, I agree with you. I think it'll be a one one draw. Mm. Not one one draw. Sorry, uh, I mean a draw, and we'll get one point. Yeah. Liverpool away to Villa, probably their second toughest fixture. Mm -hmm. I what think I think they can. I think they lose that. Wow. Wow, I love it, bro. Love that, bro. Okay, they will lose to Villa. Hmm. Look, I, I think at, by that time, Villa will have way less pressure because the top four race will probably be done. Um, mm. Actually, even if it's not done, I mean, they will still want to fight to stay in the top four. So I think they will give Liverpool a fight. I don't think they're good enough to win, but I do think it'll end in a draw. I do Fair think enough. it'll end in a draw. Uh, you've got West Ham at home for City. I'll start this with a win forward. Yeah, sorry. It's, I don't know even know why I looked at it confused. It, it's win, bro. Win, win. Yeah, yeah. 100%. 100%. <laughs> okay, so I guess that only leaves... Um, well, Wait, how uh, come you got Tottenham? No, no, I didn't do Tottenham. Yeah, so, sorry, sorry. sorry uh, no, no, I meant, at the, uh, I meant at the end. Uh, yeah. Man City. Tottenham's got Asterix it's a, it's it. a, Yeah, it's a rescheduled game because of the FA Cup. Because City are in the FA Cup, right? So they'll be playing an FA Cup fixture then. Oh, okay, right. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, it's rescheduled, yeah. Cool. So Everton at home. Uh, last game of the season at oh. Emirates. Everton are shit. We should be winning that. We uh, if we if we if we haven't won the league by then, expect a six nil. Yeah, I'll yeah. give you the. I even yeah. give you the the score prediction. I expect I a six nil. If we if we if we, I wouldn't say bottled the league because you can't really bottle the league from here, bro. I think we've gone mm. a, a long way. Um, <clears throat> but if we if we don't win the league, 
and it gets won by somebody else, expect that last game to be a massive fixture. But we always do it. Anytime we fail yeah. on something this in, in the last years, we just smacked the last team bro at home. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Last year with Wolves, we did that with last year with Wolves. Yeah, so, yeah. we did that with Everton the year before that five one. Yeah, the, the, that was the top four, the top four run, isn't it? Yeah, Everton, we yeah. beat them yeah. like five five one, bro. It's crazy, but yeah, that's that what should be your a win. prediction for Wolves then at home for Liverpool. Yeah, I think it's a win as well. Yeah, I don't think they lose the last game at home. Yeah, same. Same. I'm going to go with you there. Uh, and then, okay, so we finished. So now we only have Tottenham left, right? Mm. Now, I'm going to start with us, with Arsenal, mm -hmm. right? Um, man, look, North London Derby, never it's easy. Tough. Very difficult. And obviously, Tottenham are going to... The same thing that I said about United when they play City and Liverpool, it's the same thing that applies to Tottenham. When they play Arsenal, it's a different game for them than when they're playing City or Liverpool. Um, they, more than any other team, will probably not want us to win the league. Mm. Um, to the point where I genuinely feel, maybe not the players, but I genuinely feel... No, no, no I think the players. No, no, it's the, it's the players as well. Yeah, maybe, the way, the was, way, was, the way, so you know, the way you know that Saka, the way that Saka, the way that Saka took, took that celebration from... Bro, they took that personally Madison. on the pitch that day. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. no, but they what I was gonna person, say bro. is what I was gonna say is I feel like their fans, if they had a choice, if they had to choose, like, hey, we lose to Liverpool and we lose to City, which guarantees Arsenal not win the league, I think they will take that. Yeah, hundred percent. Right? I'm yeah, I'm saying their players might not feel the same way. I think the players would still want to oh, win. Oh yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah. Um but I don't know. I think they'll be up for it. Uh, I don't think they have any major injuries. Uh, Van de Ven, I remember, was injured. And I saw the stats without him. When he's not there, like, they're a whole different team. Um, if he is available that game, then obviously they're going to be at full strength. Um, I mean, they came to our ground, obviously. And and I, I want to say Nick the point because of that stupid Jorginho blunder. Um, and Declan Rice obviously got injured in the first half and came off. Um, I don't know, man. I, I genuinely don't know. Like, do you have a prediction got, for this? I got my score prediction. Yeah, um, I think we're gonna. Yeah. I think I think we're gonna draw, mate. I think it's gonna be a one-one or a two-two. Mm. It's gonna be one of those games, man. Mm. You know what? Yeah, the more I look at it, the more I also, I'm leaning towards a draw as well because it again, stinks it, of it. I've, it stinks of it. It, it does. It does stink of it. And they're gonna look. They're gonna attack, which is good for us. But it also means they're gonna be dangerous um, when they're going forward. Um, and momentum also, like, I mean, the flow of things makes a difference for me. So when I see that we're winning all these games in a row, I just think, like, are we going to win, what, one, two? And I'm saying we'll win against Chelsea as well. So that's one, two, three, four. And if we win this game, five plus Chelsea, six plus this one, seven. Are we going to win seven wins in a row? I don't know, man. I feel, with, especially if we knock out Bayern and we have to play City or Real Madrid next, like that will also add that pressure to us. So I'm gonna go it's with you, bro. bro. It is difficult. I think I'm gonna we're gonna draw this game. I think we're gonna draw this game. Cool. So what are you saying for Liverpool then? Um. Oh no! Uh, win, win for Liverpool. It's a win. Uh -huh. Straight up. I, okay. I I think I think they their record is very bad at the at Anfield. Yeah, like it's not a good record at Anfield, man. I think it's going to be, like you said, it's not the same vim for the game. Yeah, there's not the same anger for the game. Of course, their players want to win it, but mm. from the fans, from the club, it's not that same anger towards Liverpool. Do you know what I mean? But of exactly. course, they're going to want to win it. They don't want to lose a game. Um, yeah. but I I think I think Liverpool will win that. My personal opinion. Uh, I, I hear you. Uh, I think it'll end in a draw. And the reason I say that is because, I mean, last two seasons, Liverpool really struggled at Anfield against Tottenham. I mean, they won. You remember that last game when they were 3-0 up and Spurs came back, made it 3-all. Mm -hmm. um, and then obviously Jota scored immediately and, and won the game 4-3. And the season before that, when they were going for the quad, they had to win at home and they still drew to, to Spurs 1-all. Um, and they were losing 1-0 for the longest time until Diaz equalized in like the last 10, 15, 10 minutes or 5 minutes um, I think this Tottenham is a this Tottenham is a better team than the last two seasons 
Um, I think Liverpool struggle against teams that actually run at them on the counter and 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 try to uh, exploit the spaces, which Liverpool will leave because they are they are that kind of team. They play the same style home or away, um, which obviously is like credit to them, but sometimes it backfires. Um, so if Tottenham have their entire team available and if they have Van de Ven, who's good at mm. stopping some of these dangerous transitions, um, I think they'll be able to nick something. I, I genuinely do. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah City. Okay, so I'm going to start this one. Unlike what a lot of people think, I actually think City will win this game. One is this jinx that people said, oh, you know, they never win at White Hart Lane. That's gone this season because they just beat them in the FA Cup 1-0. Um, I think I'm a different from the league. It is. It is. I, I agree. It's 100% very different. But I just feel, I, I don't know when this game is going to be rescheduled because that's the second game that will be rescheduled for them. So I'm assuming it'll be maybe between like Fulham and West Ham or between Wolves and Fulham, um, mm. which is obviously like an easy run for City on paper. Um, if it comes to a title race and City have to win this game to win the league, I, I think City will have enough for Tottenham. I think they are... I think they are the team that works best against Tottenham in terms of the style and rivalry and all that stuff, uh, or absence of rivalry. So, yeah, I think they will be Tottenham. What are you saying? Um, I think it's got a draw written all over it, that one. Draw Sorry. written all over it, bro. It's just, it's yeah. a weird one. Whenever whenever I see them, it's a very weird one, bro, with, uh, mm. with, with, with Tottenham versus Spurs. They always, mm. they always have Spurs. Always seem to show up against them, mm. and they're gonna have their full team. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just, I, I, I think it's, it's got a draw written all over it, mate. To be honest, I hope <clears> so. My point of view. I want to. Okay, so now that we're done, uh, what one hour fifty one minutes coming, almost close to two hours. I see what Akhtar is saying. Um, Pep never won at the lane. He did win at the FA Cup, but yeah, if you mean the Premier League, he's yeah, never won there. Fair enough. Won. You know um, what Akhtar is saying there, bro? You're just trying to... Uh, no, no, guy. I know what he's, he's saying, saying, but I... Actually, I, he won uh, in the FA Cup. Look, I genuinely feel it. Because, I mean, remember Everton was a was a bogey ground for us as well. I think we didn't win there for the last five years, and we ended at that this season. So, I don't know. I feel like Tottenham... Sorry, City will have a bit too much for Tottenham there. Uh, Akhtar also says that Tottenham to win against Arsenal, lose against Liverpool, and draw to City. Damn! So Akhtar thinks we will lose to Tottenham. They're fighting for a UCL spot, and it's vital for them to win. Yeah, yeah, that's true, actually. That's true. They are fighting with Aston Villa for the top four. Um, it's it's uh, not in their hands right now since that Villa is above them, so I think they will try to get the results. Um I do understand people saying they will lose to Liverpool just because it's at Anfield. Um, but I feel that's the game that they are more likely to get points just because of the the, the matchup. Um, mm. But yeah, look, we have our points all in. So now we're going to total them and see who Saad and I have winning the league. You know, we're such frauds though, Saad. We're, we're, both of us are such Why? frauds. We didn't predict a single loss for Arsenal from here till the end of the season. Which no, because is I don't to think about. No, 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 but I don't think we'll lose. I think we'll drop. I think we'll drop points via draws. But you know why I'm saying it's. Us. But you know why I'm saying it's fraudulent because both you and I agreed that we have the hardest fixtures coming up, and despite that, we predicted like both of us predicted three draws each, and we win the rest. Um, and I'm telling you right now, like, I feel there's a loss coming in for us somewhere. I hope not, because when I look at the fixtures, I see, like, I'm, I think, like, where would we... I mean, look... You want me to count, you want me to, lose... to, do you want me to be realistic and put a loss? No, 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 you don't have to. If you don't think there's a loss, you don't have to say loss. I don't think like, so. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There you go. Like, if we are to lose the game, I think it'll be one of these three. Tottenham, United, or City away. Yeah. Um, but... I don't know. Like we have done well against the top six this season. We have not lost a single game. So mm. uh, you know what? I'll just go with what we currently have. Cool. So here are the results for our prediction. And the league winner for Ostrov and Saad is Arsenal. <laughs> oh my god. 
the exact same points as well. Yeah, because we predicted three draws each. Bro, Bro. it's mad. Bro. And the thing is, you're different than me because you have City finishing third. I have City finishing a point behind us. You see, it's I mad just... to say, it's, it's mad to say that because if you would ask me to predict right now without doing this exercise, who do I think will win the league? I would have said City. So I'm a bit surprised that I have us winning the league. I think it's because I haven't put a loss for us. Um, because if, God forbid, we lose to City over here, that automatically changes the whole outcome. But regardless, yeah. it's I still I still would have Liverpool finishing third. But it's 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 all it's all within that game. It's that mm. game, bro. You know what I mean? Okay. Like that game is very important against against um, Manchester City, bro. It's crucial for us to win this league. It will be interesting for us to revisit this after that City game. Uh, yeah, you need to save like... this, bro. I will, I will, 100%. You have saved this, bro. It's definitely saved, yeah. Yeah, 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 I will save it, 100%. I'll share it with you as well, um, mm. so you can see it. But there you go, guys. Uh, one hour, 55 minutes in, and we have finally got to the end. Um, we have Arsenal winning the league. I genuinely... Hope... Yeah, come on! <laughs> I genuinely hope hey. that's not just wishful thinking. Uh, and it's actually, like, uh, something that does happen. Um, look, at this Shut point, up. I don't think anyone can rule out any of the three teams winning it just because it's so close. Um, but it is an exciting title race. I think it's one of the best we've had over the last 10, 15 years um, because it involves three teams. Um, and yeah, let's hope that this forecast of ours does actually come true. Saad, I want to thank you so much for joining me, bro. I know it's crazy mm -hmm. two hours while you're fasting and you still have, what, no, five hours fine. left, I think. Fine. It, it gets the time. It, pass, it makes the time pass, man. So I'm all good, man. Nice. You know, I've always got time nice, for you, my nice. baby. My bro, my bro, bro. I will see you then. Uh, guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Akhtar, Altis, thank you guys so much for the comments um, and, and for uh, staying with us. I think they're still watching till now. So big up to you guys. Big up you lot, man. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Big up. Peace. Peace.